Hello everyone, thank you for joining me for another video here at the Hawk Conservancy Trust. Uh, my name's Ben, I'm a member of the wonderful bird team here at the Trust and uh, if you've visited us before you may have seen me flying birds in demonstrations or maybe even commentating uh, or maybe I even did an experience there with you. Um, of course we can't do any of that at the moment in these strange times, however uh, we can still stay connected with you incredibly virtually. Um, I was asked to do a video for you for, for social media which I'm really excited about I've been itching to, to do it since we've gone into lockdown um, to showcase a species that that I absolutely love I'm just going to focus on one bird today and uh, I was told that I could choose any of the birds that we work with and we have just over 130 birds all together here um, in our collection at, at the Hawk Conservancy Trust and that's quite a few birds to choose um, but I've chosen a species that most people know and love because of how cute and fluffy they tend to look uh, and they definitely have the R factor. But I want to show off today a bit more of their, their hunting prowess or hunting ability which I think often goes under the radar a lot of the time uh, and I'm talking about the great grey owl. Uh, so come on into the aviary and let's take a look. Great grey owls. Everything you need to know about the bird is really in the name. They're great, they're grey and they're most definitely an owl. I often say, it sounds kind of funny, but I often say they're kind of the most owliest owl I think we could possibly show you. Uh, for mainly the facial disc. Uh, you can see she's got almost like this moon face, kind of like she's flown into the side of a wall and pancaked herself in a little way, but not at all. And it's all actually to do with the way that they predate and the way that they hunt their prey. Uh, and they really do have a cornucopia of prey items. In other words, a huge range of prey that they'll go after. And basically, what I want to talk to you about is their hunting ability, uh, as I said at the start of the video. So often we see the owls as being cute and cuddly and fluffy, but we don't really think about how predatory they can be. And great grey owls, I think, really show off that ability of, of being able to seek out prey that they can't even see. Like all owls, or most owls, great grey owls have something called asymmetric hearing. This is where they've got one ear placed higher than the other and one ear larger than the other two. And it's placed on the side of their face just above, just below their eyes. And so what that means you can do is you can pinpoint sound and then the movement that follows or makes that sound just by using her hearing alone. And the ability of the great grey owl is, is quite sensational. She can hear something like a, a lemming uh, underneath a foot deepness of snow. And she's listening for that lemming all the time. She can't even see it at all. And then all of a sudden she will punch through the snow, bring out this lemming without even seeing it whatsoever. For me, that is just phenomenal. Incredible to think of that. And all the time using their incredible flexible neck too, which I'll try and demonstrate when she comes back to us here. And you can hear I'm making these little squeaky noises. She doesn't really respond too well to, to visual movements. She responds better to, to audio signals. As you can see, instant response. There we go. So the flexibility of the neck, which all owls have. She can twist her head 270 degrees in either direction, three quarters of the way round. The reason for that is because her eyes are fixed in one position. Uh, she can't move them from side to side or up and down like we can. Um, and so to make up for that, they're able then to, to twist their heads. So she's demonstrating for you right now, as she's not even looking at the camera, she's looking in the opposite direction and now looking back at you. These wonderful yellow eyes too, which tell us that a lot of the time they will favour to come out in the daytime, the diurnal species, but if they have to, they will come out at night time too. Ennis here, as an individual, uh, well, she was born in 2012, and we often have a theme of names for our birds every single year, uh, and 2012 was the year of the London Olympics, so that was our year of famous Olympians. So Ennis here is named after Jessica Ennis bit of a national treasure in the sporting world uh, and well ever since she started and was fully trained she's been doing all sorts um, she flies in 
demonstrations, actually alongside her, her brother, Walter, uh, who's actually where she's placed now, at the back of the aviary, who's just on the other side, uh, in an aviary next door to each other. They're almost identical, but they are, of course, two completely different birds. All in personality as well. No, no two birds are the same. But she also does experience days, where, if you're lucky enough, when we're Things are back to a little bit of normality and you can come back with us on an experience day. You may be lucky enough to have this bird come and land on your fist. Uh, and what a feeling that is. And also she's a member of our Owls by Moonlight evenings too, uh, which we run in the early stage of the year and the latter stages as well, uh, where we fly our owls at the dead of night. And it's something very special uh, to see an owl, or even just to hear an owl, um, come over the tops of your heads. Incredible stuff. They do go by a couple of other names as well throughout the world where they're found. And they're a northern hemisphere species. They're a cold climate bird. There's something really special that they do, which not many owls do. Um, they're not migratory, but they do something where they can travel fast distances, often where there's a food shortage. It's being what's well, known as being nomadic, uh, which is quite an interesting trait that these birds have and very special. So they do range from time to time. Um, and there have been studies shown that these birds actually can, can travel distances of over 600 kilometres in the space of a few months, uh, which is extremely impressive, I think, especially for an owl. And don't let her size deceive you. They're, they're quite a large species of owl when you look at them. However, they're all feather. They're like a Class A flying duvet, I like to say. Um, and they actually only weigh, well, Ennis weighs in today at a whopping 800 grams about one pound, nine ounces in the old money. No, no weight to them whatsoever. Extremely lightweight. So incredible to think then that they can punch through uh, snow that a grown man can walk over with their incredibly long legs, which I think is really quite special. Now, one thing I really want to demonstrate with Ennis, and great grey owls in general, is their maneuverability and agility. We have designed, myself and my colleague Mike, uh, who's actually behind the camera today. Uh, there we go, thank you, Ennis. Uh, we've designed this, basically to try and make it look as natural as possible. Uh, they're found a lot of the time in thick coniferous forests, very natural uh, looking bit of leafage there. And often they would be found chasing something like a small rodent through the forest floor. Uh, and a lot of the time, small gaps will appear. They have to be able to adjust their bodies and move in the tightest of corners. Another thing we don't really associate with owls is maneuverability and agility. You normally see them as quite slow and dainty flyers, but trust me, what we're about to show you with Venice demonstrates just how agile they can be when they really need to be, when they're going after their prey. So hopefully, she's gonna fit through this small gap that we've made here. Let's give it a go. We'll see what happens and, uh, and, and hope for the best. Wow! How incredible was that? Almost flew straight towards you as well. As she comes in, tucks her wings in, fits through this tight gap, the legs come out to grab the food. You can imagine if you're a small rodent trying to get away from this bird, you have no chance whatsoever. This is the sort of hunting caress that I was talking about. Just sensational. Wow! Wow. <laughs> Epic flying through the gap. I think I'm going to round the video off there, guys. But just before I do go, um, just a few more things uh, from me. Uh, basically, we've got this really exciting raffle on at the moment, which I want to talk to you just a little bit about. 
Um, not going to go into too much detail, but basically just to tell you exactly what's going on. You can purchase a raffle ticket for £5. Uh, that money's going to go towards helping us keep our funds up, keep raising money, because of course with lockdown, we aren't getting our all of you in, we aren't getting our visitors in. That's our main revenue. So we needed to try and think of a way to, to try and get um, money back into the trust or keep the trust going, really, to support our wonderful birds, like our great grey owls. Uh, so £5 per ticket. You can buy as many tickets as you possibly want to. And there's going to be a link to the raffle uh, to get to it in the in the uh, description of this video. Um, so check it out. You can go onto the website, see all more of the details. Um, you can buy as many as you want to. The wi the winning prize, pretty exciting, I think. Uh, it's an all-exclusive behind-the-scenes day with one of the members of our bird team. Could be me, could be one of my other colleagues. Uh, we'll see on the day. And it's for that person that wins, and you're allowed to bring someone with you as well if you'd like to. Um, so, yeah, please do uh, buy, buy a ticket and, and help support the trust even more. And, and really, the... The overwhelming support that we've received during this lockdown period has been absolutely sensational and we can't thank you enough really, it's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. Um, keep tuning in, keep watching our videos, keep supporting us and, uh, and hopefully we'll be reunited soon and we can see you all again. Thank you very much for watching, take care.